So, let me get this straight. Dana died with vampire blood in her system, so she came back to life, and now she's in transition, and she needs to feed or die? Nailed it, bro. Easy decision, right? Huh. All right, so we give the human blood. It's that simple. Not everyone wants to be supernatural. Some people just want to be normal. Dana's traumatized, you guys. This is a huge decision. Maybe we should give her a day or two. To... She'll be dead in a day if she doesn't feed. Oops. I suck at math. You should tell her the truth. But my guess is that she'd be psyched to be at a place like your school. I know I would. Y'all have quiet over there, MG. I'm a feminist, bro. I'm not going to tell Dana what to do with her body. Landon's right. Fine. Okay, but to be clear, she is not joining drill team. So should I? Did I pass out? I don't feel so well. We know how you feel. And it's okay, you're just hungry. Anorexia was sophomore year. This is something else. You'll feel better after you feed, I promise. Oh, shut up. For real. God, even... Thinking about eating makes me want Oh, damn. What'd that girl eat? I think her soul just got on my shoes. Ew. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick, too. Is this normal? She's puking her guts out. Literally. Dana! Dana! Should we call your dad? Why? So he can take another bullet for you? No. Because whatever did this is not a vampire. It's got to be another monster from the knife. Well, maybe the monster's been right in front of us all along. Are you serious? Hey, none of this started happening until you showed up and stole that knife, which is exactly what the other monsters came here to do. You saying it's a coincidence? Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> you believe me, right? Got it. Say no more.